Hello. Here we are on a Saturday before 4th of July. Okay, Krista is going to help me today. And do you want an apron? Give me the blue one. This one? Yeah. Okay. So we are going to make this parfait and it's really, really good. And I've asked Krista to help me because there's a lot of step. Well, there's not a lot of steps, but there are steps. So saying, hang on, we're telling more people. <laughs> okay, we're gonna show you how to make this parfait. I gave you the recipe, so if you're out shopping right now and you wanna be ready to um, make this tonight, it's perfect to make today and then have and serve tomorrow or make it right now and serve it this afternoon later. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this lemon um, sauce that's going to go over our pound cake. If you want to make a homemade pound cake, you do it because I'm all about homemade, but I just get the family sized uh, Sara Lee pound cake and it works just fine. So let's see, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna zest, let's zest some lemon. Oh God, I don't know how to zest a lemon. Oh no, but if you do it this way, let me just show you on this tool. No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Watch it. So I learned this trick. I used to do just what she was doing, but if you go like this, it collects on top and you can see it, and then you can dump it into the bowl. Why does that matter? Because it's easier. That's how you're supposed to use the tool. Let's see. Okay, um, so we need a half a cup of sugar, which I have right here, and then we're gonna add a fourth a cup of lemon juice, a teaspoon of lemon zest, and a fourth a cup of just water. Just a teaspoon? Uh, just do three lemons, that's what I would do. Dang, that's why there's teaspoons. I like zest, I like a, a tart flavor. If you don't like a big tart flavor, then don't do three. Do maybe one. Zest to one lemon. That should work. If you can't see something or you want to say hello, just wave. Let's see. Okay. And I get these little lemon, or I have a green one that's just specifically for limes, and I love them. So I'm going to put this in a different container real quick. Just turn the lemon, I mean the lemon zest in that one and we'll measure that because it's only supposed to <laughs> uh, Why yeah. do you ask me to help with these things? Because I need help. Plus it's memory. Like the corner of my mind. I don't know why this lemon thing isn't even working very good. This is the worst little, part, right? Little, mm, I know, I have an automatic one. I have an automatic one. That's awesome. It's probably what I should have used, but I was like, because uh, there's only a fourth of a cup, so I don't need a whole lot of Well, one. you only needed a teaspoon of this. Hey, that's the whole thing. Okay, just do, just do two. What do you mean two? Well, this one. I did this one and then that one. That's plenty. This is the only one I've done. Oh, okay. That's a lot for one. That's so one I'm lemon. Do one lemon. <laughs> We only need a teaspoon. She had me do the whole daggum bowl. That's all right. This is what happens. I, don't, I feel like I don't get enough lemon out of this. Lemon juice. Mm. Okay. We'll go to limon. Okay. Wait, I should tell them how to make my Starbucks drink. Oh, why, while, while we're waiting? Okay. So, looky there. One lemon is going to all you need. So I'm mixing the lemon and the lemon zest together. I always feel like that is helpful because it makes the um, the lemon even more tart. It's awesome. And with oranges, oranges, it really does. Yeah, and with oranges especially. Okay, so we're gonna add that to a half a cup of sugar. And, and just stir it around. And then we need a fourth a cup of water. So it's like a lemon. Um, uh, it's the same thing you would use over like a lemon cake uh, syrup, kind of a syrup. And here's our quarter cup of water. And that's all we do for that. And we're going to set this aside and make the cream filling. Cream. Okay, Krista wants to show you real quick how to make a delicious... Starbucks drink? Yeah, it's a Starbucks drink, but it's very summery if you like herbal tea at all. This is the Tazo Passion, um, I think it's called 
at Target or Target. At it, you can get it at Target. Yeah. But um, at Starbucks, it's called the Passion Tango Tea Lemonade, and it's caffeine free. It's an herbal tea, but it's a vibrant herbal infused hibiscus orange peel and cinnamon. But it's really good. Um, and if you've ever had the Passion Tango Tea Lemonade at Starbucks, it's literally just. How much are you doing? I usually do half and half because I like the tango tea, but I think they do like, um, they do like one more. Uh -huh. And then you just do whatever lemonade you like. I like to use the Raisin Cane's lemonade, but we don't have any more. Oh, pitiful. And then, so that I got Simply Lemonade. And then you just fill the lemonade up the other way. So you do about half of the tango tea, half of the lemonade. And then you put ice in it. And my grandma taught me that if you want it cold, you gotta stir the ice. <laughs> Mm. She'll shake the cup. You gotta shake it like this. Makes she used to have little uh, um, stainless steel cups or little mugs, and she would put her ice water in that, and she would shake it up. And she said that's the only way you can get it real cold in Texas. Well, um, and she's not so wrong. You can see it here. I don't want to spill it, but it's like mm. a light red, and so you get the mm. you get the hibiscus, hibiscus and the orange. orange peel and cinnamon. It's so freaking good. Anyway, that looks good. You can get this at Target. They sell it in the, like, where the milk is and stuff. Uh, so it's in the actual refrigerating section. Passion, t uh, Tazo Passion Herbal Tea. Okay. And then whatever. Well, there's you your want. nice little summer little lemonade summer drink. drink. It's what I've been drinking all the time. That you can grab really easily. And you can do the same thing if you want to cut the herbal tea and you can just make it with water. Okay, so we've got our lemon sugar um ready to go we're just going to set that aside and now we're going to make the cream so what you're going to do with that lemon sugar is we're going to brush the pound cake so that it has a little bit of a lemon flavor and if you don't like lemon you don't have to use it but, but it's why, really good okay so the first thing we're going to do i think i did this wrong oh no you need eight ounces of cream cheese in a bowl yeah, eight ounces of cream cheese softened, and then we're gonna add our sugar, which is a half a cup. And we're gonna blend that together. Let's see, right there. It may go everywhere. <laughs> it may go everywhere. Um, and then we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla and one and a fourth cup of heavy cream. So if you're going to add one teaspoon, are you going to add two? So to add one teaspoon, are you going to add two? No. Why do you say that? So she usually does. No. The secret of the trade. How do you know? Because you never tell me about it, and then as soon as I make something, like, oh, I usually add two teaspoons. That's why mine tastes better. Oh my! Okay, so now we're gonna add. Nothing's better than just sugar, vanilla, and cream cheese. Honestly, you watching? One and a half teaspoons, just for Krista. Wait, 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 we gotta add the whipping cream. And then we are going to put one and a quarter cup, and this is a quarter cup that I have. Three, four, and one more. And we're gonna blend that together until it's smooth and creamy. Everybody love parfait. Everybody love parfait. I think the beaters are, they're great, but I like to use this. Can you see it? I like to use this. 
um, the most when I'm doing anything with cream. With cream. stand up okay not bad that's perfect mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh give me all of that in my belly that is good stuff okay we're gonna put this aside for a minute until we're ready to assemble now we've got our pound cake now let's talk real quick about the different type of trifles you can make or parfait like a trifle a parfait whatever you want to call it there's different things that you can use you can use just a champagne glass a fluted glass of any kind i collect these little we o u i we o u i like we you like, know yes, the little yogurt cups mm -hmm. i love them they're perfect they're tiny sometimes you just need a little bit treat and these are perfect also for that. if you do eat the we um Yogurt, you can go on their website and buy, they have reusable lids, lids for them. which I need to order because I love them. Uh, or you can just get like a small little eight ounce jar, the Kerr, you know, the canning jars. I love to use these for so many things in the summer because they're super cute and that you can use them um, over and over and over. And you can get those plastic lids to go on top and you can just label them banana pudding, parfait, whatever. Or if you want to be fancy fancy, you can use an actual trifle dish. Um, I'm not going to show you this one because I want to do these. I think these are cuter. Um, but you can, if you're making a, something for a crowd, use this. Um, you can do a brownie trifle in here, this parfait, whatever. Um, and then you can just dig it in and scoop it out. I think it's prettier That's to do fine. individual. Don't you? Don't you like the individual the last look? And I've got strawberries and blueberries ready to go. Did you know right that there. the first time I had a strawberry in the last 20 years was two weeks ago? <laughs> oh my gosh. And I had to because I was a model for a photo shoot. Okay, let me show you something also kind of fancy fancy. Model for a photo shoot, what did you do? Um, my hair got turned into a charcuterie board. Oh yeah, I'll have to show that picture because that was amazing. It got like, um, a bunch of people have been picking it up recently, like famous hair places, which is so funny. <laughs> my hair is a charcuterie board everywhere, everywhere. It's so funny. Okay, I can't find my my super waffle chopper from Pampered Chef, but I love it so much. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, the thing I use for turkey. Like, no. Oh, it's here. Well, that that drawer is so full. Do you have like everything? I have so many. Right here. What? I love right, this right. thing. I'll I think these are so, chicken. I know I found the recipe. Okay, so what I first do is I will slice the pound cake into this super cute waffle shape. Like this. Okay, this? no, <laughs> stop. Okay, so you can do it like this, just like, um, I don't know, is that an inch, you'd say? Mm, let's see. I think it's like an inch. A half inch. Okay, 
So then you would brush this, but first I wanted to show you, here it is. You can cut them out in cute little stars. Can you see that? Um, and you can decorate just the top with the pound cake with the stars, or you can do all the individual parfaits with little star um, shapes. So if you do that, go ahead and do, cut out the stars first because they're gonna be sticky. They're gonna get sticky. And we'll just do one so you can see. Krista, what fluted glass or jar do you want to use? Okay, Krista's doing them to the, the Wii. What do you want to call it? Because it's so cute. No, what do you want to call it? I can tell you're trying not to say Wii. 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 I don't know. It sounds it means weird. Yes. I know what it means. I've been to France. France. Did you take three years of French in high school like I did? I did not. And then get called Spanish speaking? Mm. Hey, why do you get to eat some and I don't? Leftovers, which one I'm going to say. Hey. Okay, so Krista, can you guys see? Hopefully you can see. Okay, so just brush the tops of the pound cake. Just let it drip into the pound cake a minute. Uno momento, por favor. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You should give him a daddy. No. Gonna He's going to get the parfait. Okay, so just do the tops or the bottom. You can do both sides if you want. Okay. So once you have all of your pound cakes ready to go, Chris is just gonna do the um, the stars in the one. Super fun. Or you can just slice them all, brush them with your lemon sauce, and then it's time to assemble. Avengers, assemble. Assemble. Okay, Krista, let's have you um, lemon these up. That's what we need to watch, uh, Captain America. Yeah, let's it? turn that on. I watched Matt. National Treasure last night, but I can watch it again. National Treasure is Krista's. What is National Treasure? I have three favorite yeah. movies that <laughs> are interchangeable. Say. I don't want to get it messed up because you'd be mad at me. One of those movies is National Treasure. We know every single word to it. Like I've. Do you have like go-to movies? I I do. That I watch like on repeat. Doesn't matter. Yours is Harry Potter one and Lord of the Rings. Yep. Um, Any Lord of the Rings. Yeah, mine is number one. Oh, well, they don't so have happy. one through three is Twister. Movie Twister. That's one people are most like confused about. Twister, um, You've Got Mail, and uh, National Treasure. These are my three favorite movies of all time. Okay, so we've got some fresh blueberries rinsed and ready. And strawberries. This is such a fun... Fun parfait. Parfait, mom. I love making a parfait. And I think it's super fun to do any kind of cool dessert in the summer. So I'm just gonna make some chunks of the strawberries while she's limiting those up. Are those good strawberries? You think I could eat one and like it? I don't know. What do you mean? Well, I think they're good strawberries. I like strawberry, though. Like you could do raspberry I if like you're not interested things. in strawberries. Um, I would say, because I know I'm going to get asked, can I use frozen? I would say no, because um, yes, you can. I mean, you do you, right? You can do you. But because of the water content in the frozen um, berries, it's going to, maybe if you set it overnight, it's going to get kind of juicy. And we don't want that on a li just a liquid parfait. Nobody wants that. That's called a smoothie. So, I would say no to that. Does it have to be on both sides or just the one? I'm um, one. You don't have to do both unless you like a more lemony flavor. So, I'm just chonking these up. Nothing major. But Where we want the red, the white, and the blue. So, the red is the strawberries, the blue is the blueberry, and the cream is the white. Fonzie! Where's our little star spangled boy? Where's our little Dodger dog? Honky Tonk! Auntie! He's like, he's mad. He's sleeping. Krista dressed him up, so he's pissed. Honey! Hi, you look so handsome! Okay, so let me show you. Move this aside. He's so bad. He was wearing a hot dog costume earlier today. He said, it made me want a hot dog real bad. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is assemble. Now, if you read the recipe at all, you'll notice that I said you could use, um, oh, I need a bigger spoon. Oh, here's the spoons. Um, so you can use a fresh lemon curd, or this is my favorite lemon curd to use in cakes. Um, I use this as in my icing even. You know what you should do? You should put this in a bag. Yes, you could be cute and put it in a bag, but we're not gonna do that. Why, I'm gonna be cute. No. Um, so I just stir it really good, get it to room temperature, and it's perfect, lemon curd. You can add this to it. I like this with it because of the lemon um, syrup B stuff that we put on top of the cake. I think it tastes really good. Okay, so what I would do first is you're gonna do cream, the lemon curd, fruit, repeat. Wait, wait. Cream, lemon curd, cake, fruit, repeat. Okay, so cream. Do you want to use a little bit of this yellow? Of course I do. I love lemon. Ooh. Lemon is my favorite flavor, lemon and lavender. Just a little bit on the sides. I like to kind of go on the sides because then you can visually see it in the parfait. Parfait. Okay, and then you're gonna add your little stars. Okay, and then you want to add some fruit. Let's do a few blue berries. Okay, you do it. Are we giving this one to Daddy? Where'd she go? What you doing out there? Do I do the blueberries and strawberries in this? Or do you yes, do both, because it's red, white, and blue. You don't need a ton. And then you're gonna repeat one more time with what you just did. So I'm gonna start mine. And what I'll do is, since I'm using a canning jar, is I'm just gonna put them into cubes. Cube. Cubes. Switch it. Okay, does anybody have any questions as we're going to town here? It's just fun to put in. So after you're done with your parfait assembly, then just pop them in the fridge and they'll be good overnight. Um, you won't have any issue. Okay, Krista, you want a little sprig of mint? Look how cute. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Hold it up so they can see the deliciousness. Little red, white, and blue parfaits. Coming at ya. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> oh my. Should I get this study? Uh, no, let's put it in the fridge. Let's let it sit out. What do you like it? Well, I'm sure people like it. What's to not like about it? I'm clearly the only one who loves daddy around here. Wow. Says the person who steals the cookie dough. <laughs> For daddy. <laughs> yeah. When I make cookie dough, I have a problem. I don't like people to come and eat the cookie dough. First off, it's raw and it grosses me out. I don't like cookie dough. I'm not one of those cookie dough lovers. Um, but my kids like to sneak cookie dough. No, just me. Hey. Mm -mm. Okay, can't stop. Can't stop the getting up. Jump along. Okay, so see how cute? It's just a simple little parfait. Parfait. You can do them in any size i kind of like to scoop the top into the the cream and then add a little strawberry a little blueberries or two and if you have a peppermint growing in your yard like i do just adding a cute little touch of peppermint and that's it and then i will put this in the fridge and let them refrigerate you know keep them refrigerated you don't want to leave them out and then you're good to go Krista's gonna, let's make one in this. This will be fun, just so you can see. Oh, too much. A little cream. <laughs> Do you remember when we took that cookie class for Santa cookies? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little lemon, you can see, I'm just kind of putting it in 
on the side so that when you look at it, it's visually appealing. I'm a very appealing person. And honestly, it's just good. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was gonna be prettier. <laughs> it looks like dog whipped dog poo. Hansi. <laughs> no. Look how cute this is. And just bring these out when you're popping off your fireworks if you're in, fire in crack, Utah. Firecracker, boom, boom, boom. Okay. I really miss doing fireworks in Texas so much. Wait, let me see them. It's kind of a big deal in Texas. Of course, you know, swamp communities, they can pop off fireworks and it's not a bad situation. Oh, I think I forgot to add that. Yes, I did. Oh, I forgot. Daggum lemon curd. Okay. And you don't have to add the lemon curd. I like it because it tastes good. It makes everything just kind of blend together. Switch. And we'll top it off with the cream. Bet you want one of these now. Uh -uh. I do not. But you can use a pastry bag with a star tip or um, um, a pretty tip and just make a really pretty visual on the top if you want. Um, here's my problem. I love to cook, I love to bake, but I eat everything while I'm doing it. <laughs> I am one of those so, people that's like. Yeah, but, but that's okay. That's what the beauty of being the cook is. All right, look how pretty. Everybody like parfait. Isn't that so yummy? Okay, so there we have our three different, or where's that baby one? Did you give it to dad? I put it in oh, okay. Like you told me. So here's our parfaits, just like this. Or you can use a trifle dish that you can, I got mine a long time ago at Walmart. Super, super easy. Oh, got my little mint. You can just lay the cake in here, put the cream, do the whole same levels, and then just scoop it in two cups when people come over. This one, I did it. Oh, that one smells so good. Um, uh, all oh, I did for this one was I literally just ripped the bread in half and put it in like that. Yeah, and look. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> now it's a patriotic parfait. I'm telling y'all, I use flags with everything during this season. Look at this. Cheers. This is my kind of cheers. Since I don't drink, I eat. <laughs> All right, clink, so fun. Okay, so that is our little live today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a very safe, 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 safe um, 4th of July. We can't do fireworks here, so we're gonna be safe. I bought sparklers, but I'm pretty sure we can't use them. You could even put a little sparkler toothpick in here. You know, they have all kind of fun stuff, but um, don't give up on this. This is amazing all summer long to use. What? I said I gave it to dad and I was like, <laughs> I was like, Mom said not to give it to you. He's like, why? And I was like, she, she said you could eat when you got tomorrow. And he goes, forget her, man. <laughs> <laughs> he likes this. He, he really likes this parfait. So anyway, use it all summer long. You can use any kind of fresh berries, raspberries, blueberries. Um, you can use fresh peaches. It's just a really, really good mix of yum. Okay? Yeah, I'm here. Hmm? There are little. Yay. So here's our three. Ta-da. Different ways you can do a parfait for the 4th of July. Parfait. And if you make it, let us know. If you have any questions, that too. Wait, does this mean we have to make a bunch of other ones? Yeah, we gotta finish. Boy. Okay, we'll let y'all go. Have a great Saturday and 4th of July.